Hello and welcome to uh, AVK Digital channel. Today we are looking at Mail Merge. Mail Merge is an amazing feature in Microsoft Word which makes our life a lot easier when we have to send a letter to a lot of people or when we have to send email to multiple people uh, in an organization. So there are two types of Mail Merge that we're going to look at in this video today. Uh, mail Merge for printing. So if you want to send a printing, printed letter, like sometimes you may see the consultants send uh, specific letters to hundreds and thousands of people. So how they do that, um, that's something we're going to look at it. And the second option is what if we have to send an email with individual specific name, addresses, and individual details to a lot of people. So that's the, these are the two types of members that we're going to look at it. So I'm going to show you something here. Let's say there are only 10 customers we have in this spreadsheet, which are just some dummy customers created for this exercise. Um, in this Excel spreadsheet, or you can say database file, uh, we have a number of customers with their titles, their first name, last name, address, city, postcode, email, phone, balance, amount, uh, they all. Uh, the due date that they have to pay. So these are the customer's details that we have in the Excel spreadsheet. So we have to send a letter, an email to all these individual customers with their own specific detail um, and their own specific balance uh, with the due date. For that, I have drafted a letter here. I think I don't need this now. I can get rid of this. So these are two, two things you're looking at now anyway. So I drafted a letter like this. That the letter will contain the title of our customer, their first name, last name, uh, complete address, city, postcode. After that, there will be a date that we are sending the letter, like today's date. And then we have this annotation like, um, their customer or but with a specific name with their title and last name so a short letter is uh, drafted here just an example to show you it's just to tell our customer I hope you are well this is to remind you that your balance amount so this will be the specific amount for that specific customer so not the same num same amount for all of them as you can as you already seen in the Excel spreadsheet everyone has a different due date so everyone will have the specific due date, okay, as you can see in this Excel spreadsheet. So let's say for Hamza Ali, uh, their balance, his balance amount is uh, 3,250. So only that will appear in his letter or email. And his due date is 12th of August. So he will see this date, not any other date. So we're going to change all these details that are highlighted with yellow to those specific details. Now, to link all those customers into this letter, first thing we have to do, we have to link that Excel spreadsheet with this document. So for that, I'm going to go to mailing. And inside this mailing, I have to select recipients. So here, I'm going to pick this option, use an existing list. So we're looking for a database file or a file which contains data. So I'm going to go to my desktop and I created a folder here with this mail merge letter and this customer's details. So the customers are added here. Now according to the plan, I'm going to insert all those details here in this document. So the first thing I need here is the title, first name and last name. So I, I'm going to go there and uh, where is that? Insert, yeah, insert mail merge fields. So these are all the fields taken from my file. Yeah, so I'm going to choose title, space, first name, space, last name, and then address. So I'm going to choose uh, address. After that. I'm going to choose city, space, and here, postcode. Exactly like as I planned here in this uh, yellow text. So as I have the real data now, which will come in a few minutes, I don't need this now. I'm just going to, this is just to show you what I want here. The next step here is um, to insert a date. 
So you don't have to type the date. It will pick the date from the system for today's. So for that, you just need to go to insert. And if you uh, look at this, this option on the ribbon, date and time. There's a lot of options if you want to print the date and time as well. You can choose that. And a lot of other options here to choose from, look like English and American date styles. So I'm going to choose this English uh, UK style, the first one, because today is whatever the date is, it will just pick that date. So I picked today, 25th of June 2023. That's what the date is today. Now, here, the, this entitled and last name again. I will go to mailings option uh, on this menu and then I'm going again to insert mail merge and I'll choose title after that I will choose last name like it will just shows there Ali uh, Mr. Ali for Mr. Hamza Ali so that is also done right so we picked up the title the address first name last name city and postcode uh, we added, insert, inserted the, uh, the date from the system option, from the insert option. Um, yeah, that is also added. Uh, there, Mr. Mrs. The last two options here is to add here the balance amount for a customer. So here after this pound sign, I will go back to the insert mail merge. And I will choose the option here as balance. I don't need this uh, dotted dotted. It's like just to create a space to show what we are expecting here. Right. The last thing I need to do the due date. So how this came automatically? Or maybe I left before. Right. So is by due date. So here, instead of this option, I need to go back to the insert mail merge and choose the due date. Right. So this is to remind you that your balance amount, the balance is due by this date. So after this, I should have full stop. And then we will highly appreciate if you make the about payment or get in touch with us to make the necessary arrangements. If you have any questions, please contact us. It's just a letter. It could be anything in your specific situation. Um, it could be a reminder of exams for students could be a reminder of, of assignment submissions or maybe fee to pay. So in a business environment, it could be any situation. Our letter is ready. <coughs> Sorry. Let me remove these uh, yellow background stuff that I created before. So I just go there and make it no color. Right. So all the necessary data I picked up from my Excel spreadsheet added into this Word document now. My letter is ready now. So after this, the first thing I'm going to do is to create those printed uh, letters for all my customers. So after this, the next step I have to do, go back to the mailing. Inside the mailings, uh, you know, like here, I selected the recipient. Then I inserted the field. Now I can go here and I can see the, the, how many record, records or customers I have. But that's not important at this stage, to be honest. Let's go back to here. Uh, but if you want to preview it, uh, look at this. You can preview them as well to see. Um, you see, look at this. Like Mr. Maurice Smith is just uh, one of the customers in this on this address in postcode. And his due amount is 5,210 and due by 20, uh, 8th, 20th of August. Um, right, it should show me the other date system. I don't know why it picked this one, the American style. But anyhow, it will show the date, as you can see, 25th of August. And all the time, whenever you go through this, it shows you the corresponding customers and the corresponding balance and the due date for everyone, which is different. So I'm going to hide the review, uh, the preview, the preview again. Okay, I need to generate the letters now. So the last thing I have to do for printing all these letters for the uh, individual customers, I'll click on Finish. And this option I will choose, Print Documents. So when I click on it, I'm not picking specific. I want to pick all of them. Uh, I can print this into a printer if I have one. But at the moment, I just want to print them to a PDF file. So just choose the PDF, print to PDF, and click OK. 
Um, you can choose a location where you want to print them. So I'm going to back to my folder and I'll click save. It may take a minute or so to create this uh, PDF uh, for all the customers with the corresponding details. Let's see, mail, uh, merge, and click uh, save. Okay, let me now open that document and see what we got there. So if I click on that document, this is that PDF document created for me. You see, so my first customer, Mr. John Doe, that's the address and it's today's date. So dear Mr. Doe, um, I hope you are well. This is to remind you that the balance amount 4,560 is due by 1st of August. We will highly appreciate if you can make the ball payment or you know, get in touch with us to make the necessary arrangements. So this is the letter created for Mr. John Doe with, their, with his balance. And this is for Sarah Smith. And this is for Graham Gibbs um, with, the, with his address and his title and um, the balance and all the detail. As you can see, the letters are created for all the customers. So this is the mail merge done for the print and printing option. So all you need to do is just click on the print, print all of them, and then you can send them to corresponding uh, customers. So these are customized for each customer, uh, specifically for their name and address, due date, and all the personal details. So this is the one option of the mail merge for printing. The second option is, what if you don't want to send them letters, you want to send them an email of this, this letter that you dropped it. So in that case, you don't have to do anything else. Just go straight to the finish option again. And instead of print documents, just choose this option. Send email messages. Because all of my customers, they have their email addresses here, so the system will pick it up from this automatically. So I'm going to click on Finish Mail Merge and Send Mail Messages. Subject line. So in a subject line, you can post, uh, put, put anything here. Let's uh, um, uh, remind the balance amount, whatever you want to call it. Um, right. So to look at this, this is quite intelligent that automatically it picked up the email option here. But if it is not selected in case title or first name, last name, um, please choose the email address. These, these are those columns from our file that we attach to this Word document. So make sure that in two options, email is selected. Now add any uh, subject line. And yeah, this option is okay, HTML, um, that's fine. Let's click okay. Now. What happened is these letters are already created for this. Um, for this to work, you need to make sure that your Outlook is set up, okay? So make sure that your Outlook is set up. Now look, uh, if you go to my Outlook, automatically they should be in my out now, it's already gone. So all these emails are sent. As you can see here, all these emails are sent. Right. I mean, they will come back to me probably just because the email addresses are not the correct email addresses. So they are, um, they are, that they are not sent. You see, all of them, they're coming back to me. You see, it's just because the email addresses I created are not accurate email addresses. They're just, you know, created for this case study, for this video. So this is the second option. If you want to send them by email, this option. It's, it's very easy to use, but it can save you a lot of time. As you can see, uh, you know, the, the whole thing is here. If you want to print it, just choose this option, option uh, print documents. If you want to send them by email to all your clients or your students or your uh, colleagues, and just choose this option, send email messages. But for this, make sure that your Outlook is already set up on your PC or your laptop. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you found this useful. Um, it's quite useful in offices and organizations where multiple people work and there's a lot of correspondence by emails and posts. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.